Hi guys, Simon Trisellian and uh, as I said to you the other day I was going to be doing a series of videos um, really in some ways uh, like a confessional um, bit of uh, interest about how my life has uh, has moved on and uh, there's a lot that people just really don't know about you know, this Simon Trisellian so we're going to put all of that right so I, w I had a very interesting start to life. I was, uh, my mother couldn't take me, I was born out of wedlock. Uh, my mother was actually um, in the Navy, in a top secret uh, unit. And uh, she met my father there. And I was actually conceived on the runway of HMS Gamecock, which sounds hilarious. Uh, and uh, that became very interesting later on when I did actually the research. Anyway fact of the matter is she couldn't take me um, she had to leave the Navy uh, and we got put into a mother baby home which no one really knew uh, who had paid for I was there for nine weeks with her until I was then adopted out to another Navy family and great parents great parents join Les they were wonderful um, they had lost their first child and uh, within a week and then my mother contracted polio so this is my adopted mother. Uh, they contracted the polio, so they couldn't actually have any more children. So I was just like this godsend. But strange things happened all the way through my childhood. I had many mentors, uh, military mentors. I remember this commando, Tommy, who used to come in with his big shiny boots in, in uniform. And I was being, now I can see what was happening, I was actually being groomed for, for something. And uh, at age 15, um, by that stage, I'd done karate for two years. So I was like a, a prodigy of karate. I mean, everything that I touched just was, was amazing. And I'd been given a nod for the British team at that stage. Anyway, so I went to a selection uh, process, which I didn't quite understand. And I was down at, with the Royal Marines um, at uh, Limston. And I passed. Uh, there was a hundred of us, uh, about six of us were selected. And when we got into the selection process, we realized very soon that all of us um, had exactly the same blood group. And all of us were prodigies in some way. There was a couple of boxers there, there was a couple of like, engineering or math people that were just brilliant at what they did. Um, <laughs> I wasn't that brilliant, I was just a karate guy. Um, but anyway, I got put into this, um, this unit called Operation Trident at 15 and then inducted into the army almost as a cover for, for my activities with Trident, which went on for nearly 20 years. Um, in regards to the blood group, we later found out that everyone was Oneg. Um, Oneg has only been around for 30,000 years. Uh, it's a fairly new blood group uh, and of course the negative area of blood groups you either have rhesus positive or rhesus negative if you post rhesus positive i.e if you're o pos a pos or something like that uh, then you post positive for the rhesus monkey gene which means you come literally from darwinian theory you know from the hominoid apes you know as we say man arose from the apes uh, if you post negative for the rhesus uh, gene then the, there's no rhesus monkey in you uh, you come from somewhere else and this is why they know that the two chromosomes in mankind have been fused together in the laboratory so something has definitely happened and the fact that we're all part of this own egg group um, some people call us the universal donor it means that we can give to everyone but no one can give to us uh, but the blood is is highly manipulatable and I went into Trident um, literally 125 pounds soaking wet and within three weeks I was like strong like bull and in fact they used to call me that I was this little pale guy I was, I was not necessarily the smallest one in the selection but I was uh, I was not the biggest that's for sure um, but after a while I became immensely strong uh, and like my stamina was off the charts I was very fit because of my karate uh, so they used to call me the little white bull because I was very pale and freckly at the time. So I did that for 20 years and that is now the subject of my books, um, of my time with Trident. And my books are called Poseidon's Bastard Son. 
and I've now written the uh, just writing the fourth volume of that now, uh, which goes into very much detail about all the various different things. So, Steve Carter, my uh, my my name, um, got up to during that time. So those are going to be published soon. There's a lot happening in my life. You know, my life is, for most of you, known has been uh, particularly uh, challenging over the last four years. Um, everything from marital breakups to heartbreak to uh, heart problems, open heart surgery. I mean, you name it. But hey, I'm still standing. I'm probably in better shape now than I have been uh, since I was 30 years old, and I can put that down to the fact that you know I have these really good genes and, and not to get sick so lots of things is now going on we're getting to that stage now where I've written 17 books it's now time to get them out there and, and published uh, we're going to be doing programs uh, there's a lot of interest in uh, in representing uh, what I have so that's going to be a whole range of stuff that's going to be coming very soon and I'll be telling people about that. I'm also going to do another uh, video series as well on YouTube so do, do subscribe to my channel because uh, it's going to be free uh, and it's called Who Dares for Success and it's based upon the first book that I had which uh, you know uh, went, went to, to a minor bestseller on Amazon. Uh, you can't get it on Amazon anymore. Uh, you can get it all over the place but we're going to be doing a relaunch and a refresh of that. And I'm going to be doing a video series, like an online course on that, which will be totally free uh, on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and uh, make sure that uh, you get to see all the things that we're going to do. So I'm going to do a number of these videos and go through various aspects, um, not only of my life, but some of my ideology, some of my philosophy, some of my experience, because I saw a lot of things uh, during those 20 years. Um, which have led to the creation of my values, uh, which have allowed me uh, the ability and the skills to get into the anti-child trafficking area. So I was the director mm. of a, a child trafficking, um, anti-child trafficking charity down in Australia for a while. Uh, so that charity rescued 185 kids. Um, we're going to be doing the same now in the US as well. So there's a lot of reasons why um, I'm now starting to get this information out. It's about time. The world is going into a very, very interesting time. Just need to watch the news cycle to understand that. And uh, very soon, there's going to be some massive changes, and people need to be ready for those changes. Uh, I believe that I have foreseen this. A lot of it's in my books. Um, but right now, uh, this world is heading to a precipice. Uh, it's unparalleled, I think, in our history uh, because of the reach of human consciousness in this world. You know, it used to be that in order to find out what was going on in Australia, if you were in England, you had to wait for the boat to come in three months later to get a letter. Now we know it in seconds. And the whole world is, is going through massive rebirth. Uh, and I feel that this is going to be significant. And the spiritual part of my nature uh, requires me uh, as a duty of care to everyone out there uh, to be able to share my story and, uh, and my experience. So that's what's going to happen. Um, as I say, please subscribe, please, please follow this. The more that this gets out there, uh, the easier this transition is going to be. So uh, thank you for your attention and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye now.